I forget what rank we are, but we're close to the top 100, so I'm trying to do that. Um, I'm gonna be playing this, is it Belcher deck today? Which looks like this. Four Pact Negation, four Offer You Can't Refuse, one Surgical Extraction, three Gamble, three Skirk Prospector, four Spike, oh, these are lands. Three Skirk Prospector, Spectres, four Strike Your Rage, four Plunderer's Prize, one Spiteful Banditry, four Belchers, four Feats, four Leyline of Anticipations. Then our land looks like this. So let's give it a shot. So one thirty nine. Well, we got a ways to go, actually. Nice natural surge. I think this is fine. So we didn't hit a land, but that's okay because we're still one off because of strike. I see. All right. Sure. since this is a tap land. But we should be able to win from here, hopefully. We don't have to go off immediately. We can try to do it at the end of their turn. Or if he taps out, we can just win. Yeah. And this is why Leyline is good. Extra pain lands makes this deck so much stronger. We got one red, one blue. Last ember flickers out 
fine, we didn't need that. Um, so we got a couple choices here. We could just shock. I think we just run it out, man. If he's got an answer, he's got it. Yeah, fuck it. We're all in. All in. Sometimes you just gotta go all in. This is like on the play too. He said any treasures would be really good, but I don't think we can not keep it though. Keep one in case we drop gamble. Usually when we lose with this deck, it's because we like stall on land. Okay, that's good. That makes our hand go from like super sketchy to like basically we were probably win. Counter our own spell, make two treasures. Now we just win. Play the tap lane first, then double strike next turn. Then we just win turn three. Turn three kill. Instant 
instant or sorcery. So he takes that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do this, play this. There's two ways we can. <coughs> Excuse me. There's two ways we can go here. Custom gear, horse in charge, show no fear. From the spore to the fight, war unleashed, endless night. We just gotta go for the win, right? Yeah. It's a no brainer. Like, even if he reanimates one of these this turn, it's no big deal. Do we just win? Turn to Ulamog not fast enough. And it discards a persist. I can't believe he does. Like, why would you? I don't understand that play at all. Like, yeah, okay. I played a treasure, but he doesn't know we have Belcher. He doesn't know we're gonna combo out next turn. Is he cheating? Somehow? Like, is that why he conceded? Can you see the cards in my hand? Because, like, why would you concede there? It doesn't make sense. I mean, he knows that we probably have Belcher. Maybe his hand was just not fast enough to deal with a Belcher even without the feet. a little slower. X proof so you control a creature damage to the blade walker would be that's terrifying. Too slow, my friend. I like it. It's interesting. But it's a little too slow in this case, I think.
going on a pretty good run here. Okay, so we have to shock in. This is actually not as good of a hand as I was thinking, because we don't have any access to Belcher, but we do have a lot of ways to get it in our deck, so... Good. Also, double counter spell is always good. Turn after this turn, we'll be able to actually just use back to negation. We have to. Alright, there it is. Alright, so. Are we safer beating and then belching? Because, like, if we do belch, then we can hold up Pact and Offer. If we beat, I'm just gonna do it. We have some defense against graveyard strategies, which we're not up against, so it's irrelevant. Alright, that's good though. Now we can gamble. And hopefully... Yeah, so we have a plan at least. Why didn't you play those in the other order, man? So we're gonna shock this in, we're gonna gamble, put... Uh, Belcher in our hand. I hope to God it discards the Surgical Extraction. Or the other land. Alright, let's get a Belcher. Come on. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we're good. We win. A 
Oh, sure it is. Oh, 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 so close. That's not a number for a rank, that's a number of, like, Dalmatians. Alright, we win one more. <clears throat> Three-pack negations is unfortunate. to climb and so easy to fall. And we're in a luck-based combo deck, so... playing the Persist Tree Animator combo deck. Okay. We need a one mana spell to counter to make treasures for ourselves. Yep, Persist combo. Treasure. Uh, that sucks. What is this? What is the luck here? What are the odds? Three feats, three belchers. That's our hand. So lame. All right. Got any more of those? I think I'm actually supposed to let this resolve and then counter whatever he tries to bring back with it. Okay. Hey. It's better than nothing. Okay, 
It also tells us he doesn't have another persist where he would have used it. Take a tutors to get um, surgical extraction would be good too, like a gamble. But do you think? Okay, we let him cast it, and then we counter this. That means he's not going off this turn. So gamble would be really good. We're not going to be able to stop it for much longer. We really need a gamble. Uh, I think that's the end. Once he got in here. Still has an emergent ultimatum. Yeah, we're dead. Still with unlikely, but possible. We just scoop. He's not gonna whip. It's twenty cards. for not using offer there. So again, we let the Persist go off here. We counter the the Breach. It's not how I wanted to spend this mana. But it is required to not lose the game on the spot. Heroes fall, legends rise, and the hearts of war hope never right. die. We got one more turn. We need a land. 
which is eight thirteen next turn. So what do we need to win? We need a ritual off the top and for opponents and have not hit anything here. We can block with a skirk and sacrifice it to cast a strike at rich and maintain our four mana that we need to cast a ritual off the top. his whole hand. Six lane. That's yeah, still not enough. Didn't you just cast that? Oh, he didn't have the mana. Okay, I see. So we okay. He could miss. Back where we started. <laughs> I think that's kind of how it goes. There. We got to 101. <laughs> nice ever I've ever been to seven. situation because we can actually gamble for our we have this will take a while but we'll get there but if we take surgical we can really rain on this parade assuming it doesn't get discarded all right great Yeah. 
not even sure his deck functions anymore without those in it though, because like he can't loot. that in. He can't keep looping it though. That's the thing. So he can get back nothing from his side and a hydroelectric specimen from our side. Alright. Sure. Alright, it's slow, but whatever, I guess. Still need a land to be able to use the voucher. The Emperor, name, march, fly for the Imperium. Oh, fuck it. Here we go. Imperium so pure in his name. We Jesus Christ. This is ridiculous. What are the odds? Alright. I mean, the good news is, is that we're not currently on a long clock and opponent can't loop. So, like, the threat of his deck is drastically diminished. And if we can get this out, we're fine. We just, like, I could have played this there, but then I would only have two mana, which might have been the way. But I can't. I can't play this impact of negation if I don't have the mana to use it on the next turn. So, there's that. Slow us build your hand in existence. In his sight, guided by his holy light. Glory be to him. If he tries to kill the prospector, we're gonna Imperium cast the vulture. We just won't be able to pack. I don't like going shields down without being able to pack. Get here though. Like, there's no breaches. Wait, I thought we exiled all the breaches. Oh no, we did. Okay, okay. So we just don't want him to have haze, right? He already has conspiracy in He can persist whatever he wants. I think we are gonna have it. he's gonna persist glass pool. Okay. We are going to have the Belcher here. We don't have the time to wait another turn and have shields up. We just have to hope. Flying. So 
doesn't actually matter if we block here or not. Alright. We need to draw land, an untap land. There's quite a few in the deck. Here. Yeah, we're dead. This seems to kind of be how it works. Win a bunch, then lose a bunch, huh? Soul Warden. So, I play this. At the end of his turn, I gamble and counter our spell that makes two. Yeah. Please try to kill my treasures. I love that. Start winning again. Let's see, we got a spite. Okay, so we play this. Play this, then we can treasure up. That's not good. Alright, 
Okay, that changes things a bit. From the war, whispers call, chaos rising, empires fall, heretics, Perfect. And shadows creep. Great, so now we get treasures. You have some fire. Demon hosts through the veil. Chaos legions, death zone trail. Alright. Done playing with you, dude. We can't back. Which sucks. We have a Belcher, but we don't have a way to cast to use it. We have to mana up. You know, have you shown any threats yet? This is like, land destruction by itself won't win the game. You need some kind of a threat. Eventually, we'll figure out, okay. He just inexplicably has all four stone reins. Sure. Because now we've got stuff like Skirk Prospector. As soon as we do get a land, we can play that, and then it's automatic. Okay, sure. By all means, it doesn't affect Char Belcher. We're in good shape here because now we can actually pack the gate if he overcommits. So we have three mana on board. I don't think we can pack negate that though. We could have other burn spells. Just blow up wins. We're already four, three stone rains out of four. Damn. I mean, he's drawing a lot of cards though. Sure. Just take the action to shuffle. Inexplicably scoops. Thank you. 
playgrounds to set worlds free. I march lead, the legion strong in the void, they march along. Great crusade, galaxies light, I march lead in the fight. For mankind, they take their stand, you That's a little mistake you grew from both players, but luckily, opponent's mistake was worse. So I meant to cast that and hold control and counter it, and I didn't. But opponent decided he was going to counter it. He gave me back control, so I could counter it myself. So basically, opponent tapped out to counter that and draw some cards. But we countered it instead. Got all the treasure we needed to just kill him, and he'd already tapped out, which is pretty funny. Loopy jump. Okay. Turn to kill him. Come on. Uh, it's close to a turn to kill him. Right. Please see the tap land. Next turn we can strike it. Right? We 
let him do that. Because we'd rather play Jarvelcher and, and hold up pads. Now we just packed anything that he does to interact with Char Belcher. We're all in. Set it. <laughs> the break point here. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Losing gamble is perfectly fine. We'll play Strike It Rich because it's harder to deal with an artifact than a creature. And the next turn we just win. Perfect. Turn three. Oh, Thalia. Ooh, Thalia. Uh, let's spike field hazard Thalia. Play tap lands. Pass the turn. to 101 somehow that seems like a huge jump all right this might be it we just need one lucky game one lucky game please turn to kill one lucky game please stop gatekeeping me <laughs> we can double treasure. Okay. tries to attach, we have to sack the Prospector and kill the Outfitter, because we can't afford him to have a 10-10. Okay, that yep. If we do this, it stalls him two turns.
Nice. Hell yeah. Rank 94, let's go. All right. Let me take a break here. Play some Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> This should be a 4-4 and it would be good, I think. As a 2-2, it's kind of like, eh. Where of Malice, obviously good in Timeless. This card is kind of insane as a ramp card, right? Three mana for three mana ramp on the next turn, basically. All right, we did it. We got top 100. So yeah, later.